The next thing we're going to show you guys a little bit is our stucco. Uh, we have two different types of stucco. We have our regular multi-tex uh, stucco and then we have an elastomeric stucco. Uh, both of them are acrylic formulas, uh, so they don't come in a bag, they come in a bucket. Um, what's nice about the product is it has a, a lot of uh, water resistant um, properties to it. It doesn't absorb water and things as, as easily as regular uh, stucco does. And it's also very uh, flexible. Both the regular stucco and the elastomeric, both are very uh, flexible formulations. So they will have uh, some give and take to them. Uh, we've got 30 different colors to pick from in the stucco. You simply add the color pack in, open the bucket, add the color pack in, mix it, and it's ready to go. And the first step he's gonna show you is going over the foam with our product called Foam Base. Our Foam Base is a, a cementitious product that does come in a bag. Again, you just mix it with water and it goes on uh, with this mesh. This is a different mesh uh, than the other uh, one that we showed you for the waterproofing. This has a much uh, larger weave to it. And you simply hold that up there and you trowel the Foam Base over it to hold it in place. and it will bond directly to the foam. And again, when you're dealing with foam, if you have any irregularities in there, you wanna fill those in or rasp over those areas to smooth it all out before you go ahead and um, apply your foam base. So once he gets a layer of the foam base on there, then you go, go ahead and uh, put the fiberglass mesh on there and then trowel over the top of that to embed it into the mesh itself, and once it gets it all troweled out there, that'll be what your finished surface looks like. So the foam base is a cementitious to go ahead and embed your fiberglass mesh in there. From there, once it's dry, it's gonna look like this, and now it's ready to go ahead and apply your stucco over. <clears throat> so what he's gonna show you here is our multi-tech stucco going over fiber cement board. So if you're going over fiber cement board, the first thing you're gonna do is apply some joint tape to where the fiber cement boards come together. Once you apply that joint tape, you apply a little bit of the, the smooth stucco over that just to kind of hide that tape. And then from there, you can go ahead and apply the multi-tech stucco or the elastomeric stucco. We have a utility patent on this system. Go ahead. You just have to add your colorant in there and then mix it. So now that he's got the stucco on there, I think he said he's gonna do a sand finish. So typically I think he will probably take like a uh, sponge float, a kind of sponge float over that kind of brings all of the uh, sand uh, to the surface to give you a sandy uh, finish. So he's just gonna take the sponge float, kind of float over there real light, bring the sand to the surface. And then that'll be your sand uh, finish. So I think on this panel here, we're gonna, like I said, do our um, a stencil on there. So you can use our stencil in conjunction with the stucco to create some different finishes. Um, let's say you have, especially with foam, let's say you have a building that they're doing completely with foam, below grade, they're building the house, it's all done out of foam. You can use our waterproofing below grade uh, to waterproof that and then once it comes up above grade you can use our stucco on the foam above grade. So let's say like the bottom three feet or something you wanted to do like a flagstone pattern or a brick or something like that on that bottom three feet of the house instead of applying actual brick or flagstone or something like that you can just use our uh, stencils and our stucco and get that same look. I mean, you could even do it with the stencils where you do that look, um, you know, like you see at, a, let's say, like an Italian restaurant or something where they have the brick and then only part of the brick is showing. So you can do that with this where you can use the stencil, have the brick showing and then kind of trowel over some parts of it to enclose it in so the brick isn't showing in some areas and it is showing in, in other areas. So you could do that on a wall. You could even do that on a floor. You know, there's a lot of different uh, things that you can do. Yeah, we've had customers who have used these products over foam for 
like uh, some of those escape rooms and things like that because they can take the foam, they can carve the foam out and then they can spray our uh, creek coat or something over it to harden it and then stain it and make it look like it's a stone wall or something like that, but it's all done out of foam. <clears throat> so he's got the red stucco. He's gonna go ahead and, and spray that on. Now once he's got the stucco on there, um, he's got, I think he's going to take the dash brush and just kind of brush over that to give it a little bit of texture so you can, so you can kind of see the lines uh, in there. And then from there you would just pull your stencil and you end up you know, with your uh, brick look. I mean you can peel it off now, it's probably just going to give you, like I said, a little bit of a rougher uh, edge to it. If you wanted a little bit cleaner edge, you would just let it dry more and then go ahead and pull your stencil. But I mean, it's that simple. So if you think about, let's say you've got a, a customer that's got a, like a CMU block wall, retaining wall, and it's just CMU block. And they're like, man, I want to do something with this wall. But they don't want to go through the expense of putting like a flagstone over it or tile or a stack stone or something like that. Man, you can base coat that wall put the flagstone pattern on there, spray it, pull the stencil off, stain that thing, and make it look like a flagstone wall in no time.